To be in with a chance of winning my weekly Destiny 2 Better Call giveaway, simply drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. What is going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny video. Now if you guys would have watched my weekly vendor reset video uh, this past Tuesday, there were three weapons, in my opinion, across the tower that are more or less amazing. They're the best roles. Well, probably some of the best roles you will get with these weapons. Now in that video I did recommend you buying them. But today, I'm going to actually review uh, these weapons. Well, actually, what I'm going to do is over the next few days, I'm going to review each weapon in a single video. Now, I don't know what order I'm putting these out in as of yet, but this video is going to be about the Parthian Shot, which is from the Vanguard Quartermaster. And like I said in my weekly vendor reset video this past Tuesday, this weapon is an absolute beast. It really is, and it is capable of two burst headshot killing you guys, but it needs that stability. Now it's all good at the vendor reset me telling you guys to buy a weapon because it could be amazing, but at the end of the day, and until you actually try it out, it could have the perfect role, but it could still suck. So hopefully today I help you make your mind up about actually buying this weapon. As I've already recorded some live PvP gameplay, which you guys will see in a quick second, where I actually tried and tested this weapon, and in my opinion, it's absolutely amazing. And like you guys know, I'm not amazing at PvP, so if I can do good with any weapon in PvP, you guys can too. Now, this weapon, like I said, is a two burst headshot kill. If you land two bursts to your enemy's face, they will go down. But in order to do that, you need stability on this thing because if you haven't got stability, hitting two bursts to the head is more or less impossible. Now, this week's roll, we have counterbalance, hand laid stuck, and we have rodeo, three stability perks. Three stability perks, I mean, I don't think it actually gets much better than that. I mean, if you're going to have brace frame here, yes, you'll keep your range, but it does lower magazine size down to about 21 or something. So I would prefer hand laid stock here. I mean, a couple of weeks ago, he did bring this very same role, but instead of rodeo and um, feeding frenzy, I believe it did have take a knee and hip fire, which, yes, take a knee is a great stability perk when you're crouching and you're crouch walking, but I really don't recommend you using i mean like yes you can do good yes this is a mid to long range weapon take a knee probably does suit this weapon but in my opinion for me personally i don't like taking knee. i really don't like crouching walking sitting back i don't like that i like more of a aggressive play style with this thing i mean it probably don't do me good a lot of the time because you always come up against hand cannons faster firing auto rifles and faster firing pulse rifles which at close range unless you land that first burst you're gonna go down but yeah it's just a play style i like and it's just my personal play style for damn sure taking knee with this may suit you better but in my opinion rodeo is what i'd prefer to have on the path in shot i mean for more instances where you ain't crouch walking and you're running and gunning, trying to run to a certain position, trying to defend a certain position, trying to get away from a certain position, in my opinion, rodeo, hand laid stock and counterbalance will suit you more, it really will. Now this is, like I said, a mid to long range weapon. At close quarters, you don't really stand a chance unless you hit that first burst. I mean, it is really hard unless you've got amazing accuracy, um, like some of these amazing PvP players we do see on YouTube my fellow content creators but I'm just your average Joe in PvP uh, so I can't shoot I can't aim as fast as them to the face so yes mid to long range in my opinion is definitely the way forward with this with an aggressive player style with it that's how I'd recommend you using this weapon for damn sure now I did best with this on my top to me you guys know I'm a hunter at heart but Titans for me are the best for PvP. You can just escape and evade with that Twilight Ghost and you can get around quicker. And weapons like this suit a Titan who can get around quicker because you can evade, you can step back, you can jump back, you can you can fall back even and to a position where you're at perfect range to use this weapon and drop in your enemies. Now to two burst headshot kill, you do actually need to be relatively close because the damage, well, yeah, the damage fall off ain't insane with this thing but it does fall off and although i do say and everyone states this is a two burst headshot killer to actually hit two bursts to the head and kill your opponent is relatively lucky 
but even so, two bursts to the body and even a slight touch to the face and they're going down, they really are. Now in the background now you're going to see some gameplay of me using this path in shot and absolutely loving it because I, ju I just think the weapon is an absolute beast and I would truly recommend you guys purchasing this weapon if you haven't done so already. Now guys, hope you enjoyed the gameplay in the background. Now, thanks as always all for stopping by. Subscribe if you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos and I will as always guys, see you on that next one. Spark charging. minutes left. Get around.